So Jaguar called herself spilling tea. But what she did was to spill tea on herself. And she said the police have already identified four numbers and tracked down ten that made the false call to them claiming that there was domestic violence. And also, two days in a row, they got a call. Police got a call. One from Jaguar's phone number. That's what they claimed the first time. They said they got a call from her number. The second day, they came out with, you know, squad came out. They searched that woman's house. They got another call. Now, Jaguar is claiming that the police tracked down 10 numbers and is investigating four concerning this false reporting. Well, but didn't Jaguar say the judge instructed her not to contact the police department or make any kind of contact? So if she called and contacted them concerning the report of their finding on this case, that means she's making contact and she's in direct violation. Now, the police officers went out there twice, two days in a row, because they got a tip that there was domestic violence one day, and the next day it was um, a wellness check. But that's different, because they got a call to check the place out. So, if Jaguar is claiming that the police is not supposed to, well, she's not supposed to contact them as per the judge's order, then she's in violation. If she got a reporting from the police that concerning their investigation, their ongoing investigation. And if someone else in the department leaked the information to her, that's a violation also. So how can she get on national TV and say, or the internet and say that she got it, she got a tip that this is where their investigation is. They have 10 suspects, they tracked down 10 numbers and they're investigating four. That means you're contacting the police in some way, shape, or form, and you're not supposed to. So she honestly believes in her words that it was Kingpin or Sean Divibay who sent the police at her address. So let's listen to what Jaguar have to say concerning this matter. Uh, Wait a minute, why was oh, hold on, before I get in the shower? Why was King Bay over there crying and whining and shit about us pressing charges against him? <laughs> not win, not okay, friend, not win. No, I was listening to the op out there. He looked so sad and so unkept. He looked like he ain't shaved in a week. And he just, I'm like, this nigga ain't been to sleep. And he's sitting over there and drag one and did it. And I didn't call the police pussy online saying it just a couple days ago. Just a couple now, all of a sudden, you ain't called, nigga. Shut up. I can tell you, guess what? Guess what? I got a little, uh, I got a little information about what the police have found so far. They have tracked down ten. They have, they have tracked down ten phone numbers, <gasps> and they are currently investigating each and every one of them. And what I can say and won't say anymore is that. They have already located four people from out of state. Federal. Baby TJ, I'm turning over you. I'm in the shower. Love y'all. So what's going on between these three people is getting very nasty. Now, this is what official Kingpin had to say because obviously he saw the video and he had his two cents thrown in. Let's take a listen. Like they're spiraling. Every time we see them online, you know, since the well has dried up, they've just been spiraling. And, and, and I suppose she blames me and Sean. How do you blame me and Sean for your asinine plan? For your faulty heart? For your bad intentions. How do you blame us? That was you. We had nothing but good intentions for you. We wanted nothing but good for you. We went out of our way to help you and help you get money. They said that the official campaign in Sean David Wade is going to jail. We over here swatting. We making 
making false police reports. So he says he and SDW were accused of swatting, and I looked it up. So here's the definition. Swatting is the action or practice of making a prank call to emergency services in an attempt to bring about the dispatch of a huge number of armed police officers to a particular address. And then I got curious and I folded it up with, what happens if you're convicted, found and convicted of swine? And this is what the information search on Google says. Under federal law, swatting is generally punished as a felony, and a conviction can result in years in prison. For example, the crime of false information and hoaxes carries up to five years in prison. But if serious bodily injury results, the sentence increases up to 20 years. So folks, this is very, very serious. Who is ever making these calls? reporting falsely and having the police department pull their resources, pull their manpower and go over there to wherever Jaguar is, is really putting themselves in grave danger when they are found out because they're going to be looking at jail time. I left justifiable tips. Here, official King Payne is admitting that he left justifiable tips. Therefore, he called. Crime Stoppers, I'm presuming because later in the video, he said there's nothing wrong in calling Crime Stoppers. And he has given out the Crime Stoppers number for everybody to call and report if they see anything that's suspicious or hear anything. He said there's nothing wrong in doing so. So it was all right for him to call and leave justifiable tips. So I don't know if this is an admission or not. Is he saying that he called both times? Or is he saying that he left tips that is not related to those two calls that the police department just went on? I don't understand what he's saying. Is he saying that he is the one who tipped off the police officers to go to Jaguar's address twice in two days? Because if that's what he's saying then he's implicating himself into some serious, serious trouble. Because the first call for wellness check came from Jaguar's number. The question is, how did he manage to pull that off? Being that he did not have Jaguar's phone, how did he manage to make a call from her phone when he was not there in the flesh to make that call? Therefore, there's something amiss with that, something in cleaning the buttermilk. That in itself is breaking the law. For you to make a call from someone's phone, pretending it's coming from that phone and that address, and you're not there. That means you have tampered with that person's phone somehow. I don't know how it's done. I never even heard of such a thing. But this is what he's alluding to if he made that call. If he said he made that first call, to do a wellness check. Therefore, it's concluding in my eye that he's admitting that he made a call from her phone number because that's what the cop said when they came out to do the wellness check. I don't know if he's admitting to that. Now, the second phone call, the second day when the squad team came out, they said that someone called and said there were drugs, there were GUNS being waved in the air, and there were domestic violence, and that's why they came out. If he's admitting to that, that's going to put him behind bars because that's false reporting, which is subject to 5 to 20 years in jail because it's a federal crime. It's considered a felony. And also, it's pulling police resources from needed places that they otherwise could have been serving the public. Let's say there was a bank robbery or something egregious. Then they were pulled from that particular incident instead of running to Jaguar's place where nothing was going on. They could have been fighting crime elsewhere. I left justifiable tips. When it so he said he left justifiable tips. The question is, what tips did he leave? 
What tips did he deem justifiable? If anybody contacts me good, I'll let them know. But like she said, she pressing charges. Or she pressed charges. She already contacted the lawyers, the judge, and the Soto PD. The same police department that she allegedly not supposed to come in contact with. She already pressed charges of me and Sean. When you press charges, that comes with a, a report. I ain't pressed no charges. I ain't found no reports. Hell. I ain't called 911. Okay, he said he did not call 911. But did he call Crime Stoppers? That's the question. It had nothing to do with me. Girl, no, 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 no. Y'all heard the call. That weren't me. I ain't said nothing about no gun win. I ain't said nothing about no gun win, girl. I know one thing for sure. Those police officers and those detectives are not going to rest easy until they find out who did it. Because... For them to go all the way out there, and you guys saw the video of them drawn. I mean, they were drawn, they were crouched, they were... It was like something out of the movies. They were crouched behind trees and have the GUN ready aim to be fired. This is how it was. They were crouched. And then every last one of them seems to have a rifle. And every one of them were heavily armed, like if they were there to take down Al Capone or a drug cartel. I mean, it was serious with a capital S, okay, on the line and in caps and bowls and everything. It was serious. I was really concerned for Jaguar as well as TJ's safety because I knew that someone was pulling another prank. Because this woman was on the live. When I looked at the video, she and TJ were laughing and giggling. And they were not doing any of the things they were accused of. They were not waving any GUN. There was no domestic violence. But I don't know if they were smoking anything. And that's why the cops came out. So someone told another lie to put these women's life in danger. As far as I'm concerned, it doesn't matter if you like them or love them. Nobody should put law enforcement in that position of coming out for a false report because taxpayers are paying the cops and you want your money to be used wisely. You don't want your money to be squandered by them going out to the house and not serving and protecting properly that means a crime was committed somewhere else that they could not get to because they were at Jaguar's house where no crime was being taken place. So it makes a lot of people upset to see that this woman have been targeted. And if it can happen to her, it can happen to all of us, any one of us. When people don't like you, oh, it's okay to dislike a person, but you don't have to go to your way to get them on a live or to put their life in danger. And I have no control over the DeSoto police and how many police officers they send out. Official King Payne is absolutely correct. He don't have control of how many officers come out. But when the report says that there is a GUN or GUNS being waived and there's domestic violence, then the cops are going to come ready because they don't know how many people are in the house, they don't know how many GUNS are in the house, and they're looking at this particular situation as if when they come upon the house, there might be a shootout. And if there's a shootout, they gotta come with as many armed officers as they are allowed, given that circumstances and the situation. Because we're living in a time, let's face it, where all these Places are being shot up, the, the schools, post office, even churches. So the police officers cannot downplay when they get a call that somebody is waving a GUN or GUNS and there's domestic violence. They've got to come ready. So official kingpin can say, oh, 
There's nothing wrong in reporting to Crime Stoppers. But guess what? When you report to Crime Stoppers, they report to the police department. They're coming out. Wherever you report that crime is being taken place, they're coming out and they're coming ready. It all depends on what you report. He said he did not report any G-U-N, but somebody did, obviously, or else they would not have been out there armed like that. And they would not have told Jaguar and TJ that someone reported the GUN being waived. It all depends on what you report. Now, he said he didn't report that. Okay? So we're going to give him that. But why call Crime Stoppers against Jaguar? Did you see something that she should not have been doing? Anyway, let's continue to listen because this is getting out of hand. And I wouldn't like anybody to get hurt YouTubers have their beef, yes, but the beef should never go this far. It has gotten out of hand. What happened to vengeance is mine, saith the Lord? Because you don't like someone or their deeds or actions, what they've done to you, does not give you a right to set them up to be unalived. Because this is what this was. This was setting Jaguar and TJ up. Because we saw how those cops came in. And they told them to step away from the door. So the cops wanted to see Jaguar to make sure she was okay because they were out there on an SA report. So they have to make sure all parties in that home is okay. That's why they requested that Jaguar come to the door. And when she came to the door, the cops said, because Jaguar kept telling them she wasn't coming out of the house because she was not supposed to make contact with them. And when TJ went to the door, they told her she needs to get the other person for them to see that other person is okay. That's when Jaguar went to the door. TJ went to that door because she knew they were going to storm the house. Because trust and believe, if they got a report that someone is in there with GUNS and there's weed smoking and domestic violence, when they get to that house, if you do not open that door, they will storm the door. That was coming next. So I think TJ, in her right mind, went to the door. Jaguar was very steadfast in saying, I'm not coming out. I'm not coming to the door. I'm not supposed to make contact. But guess what, my dear? You are lucky that TJ was there because they were going to storm that door. And that woman would have had a hefty bill to pay to repair that door and all the damages they would have caused. And who knows? Maybe, just maybe, they would have taken Jaguar down because I would imagine them storming that door and Jaguar hoop Halloween and they don't know if she's waving anything and they might have shot her. Let's face it. Or what they do with the tips that are sent in. So should I be worried? I would say you should be worried if you made a false report and you did a false report about G-U-N-S and domestic violence and all of that um, unnecessary stuff, you should be worried. If you didn't make those claims and call on those claims, then you shouldn't be worried. So it all depends on what you told the cops when you call. Last time I checked, the Crime Stoppers is the anonymous tip line. That's not emergency services. It's not connected with 911 and it's not emergency services. However, they will contact the Cops, that's why it's Crime Stoppers, hence the name. You're not going to just contact them and then they're going to sit on information. They have to contact the cops. So number one, they're not going to disclose your identity to put you at risk for retaliation. So the Crime Stopper program is a three-part program and it's all across America. And the sole purpose is to solve crime problems by giving the police a heads up. The program relies on the police, the media, and the general community. You're allowed to, as a citizen, call in and report a crime, but you're not supposed to report false crimes falsely. It's considered a federal crime if you do that. You can get into a lot of trouble. You can serve either five or 20 years, up to 20 years in prison. That's not emergency services. Y'all got the number to Crime Stoppers? And the so, let me make sure y'all all got the number to Crime, 
the Crime Stoppers in DeSoto, Texas. Mm. And that in itself is probably against the law what he's doing right there, organizing all his people, all his uh, subscribers, to he's weaponizing them with the Crime Stoppers number so they can call and put in complaints against Jaguar. This is what I'm presuming, which is considered harassment. And it's a crime. Mm -hmm. So that y'all all can call them with your tips. Okay, because it's not a crime. It's not a crime. Okay, period. Um no, it's not a crime to call with viable information concerning crime. But if you're going to give out the, the soda Crime Stoppers telephone number to all your watchers, all your subscribers for them to call the DeSoto Crime Stoppers number. Now, why would he do that? Everybody knows Crime Stoppers and, you know, it's, it's a agency in each state to help solve and stop crime, aid in the police. Whatever information they gather, they send on to the police department for the police department to go out and investigate. But for official campaign to now say, y'all got the number to the DeSoto Crime Stoppers, here's the number. To me, he's spearheading this bullying campaign. That's what it sounds like to me. I could be wrong, but it sounds like bullying and harassment. And let me tell you, folks, don't do it. If you do not have a legit crime to report against Jaguar Wright, do not pick up that phone and falsely re report on this woman because you're going to find yourself behind bars. If you do not want to be dragged away from your loved ones and spend this Christmas with them, please don't do it. Don't be foolish. Do not listen to people who got a beef with Jaguar and want you to fight on their behalf. Because they're not going to pay the price for you when you're sitting up in the penitentiary, okay? I mean, you can't get in trouble for it, especially when we're all witnessing them um, smoking that fentanyl weed online with them. But that's just speculation. We don't know for sure if this woman was smoking fentanyl weed. That's allegation, and you can go to court for defamation. You can be charged with defamation and, and do like uh, Tasha K and Cardi B. Because now he's saying he witnessed her smoking weed, fentanyl weed online. But that's an allegation. That's not a fact. Because he don't know for sure if that was fentanyl weed. And because it's green, does it not mean it was grass? Like Jaguar said, it was tobacco. Now the cops are going to put it through forensics to find out if it was weed or if it was tobacco. But you let them do their job. You don't jump to conclusion. So... What official King Payne has done is open himself for a defamation suit, just like that, by accusing her of smoking fentanyl weed. This case can be, if she does pursue it and sue him, it could be another Cardi B and Tasha K. But I believe she said and he said she did sue him, but I have not pulled that video up as yet. I would love to listen to the footage for the grounds in which she is suing him. Okay, that's the crime in Louisiana. Smoking weed alone is in, uh, I mean, it's, I'm talking about Louisiana, it, in Dallas, Texas, okay, on period, in DeSoto, Texas, when, okay, on period. Smoking weed alone, okay, on period, even if there's no fentanyl in it, okay, on period. So in the state of Texas, according to Google, cannabis, which is weed, is illegal for recreational mo use. So when the cops went into that house and found cannabis openly on the bed, they had a right to seize it, even without the search warrant. Because when they came knocking on that door and Jaguar and TJ opened up that door and they stepped away from the house as instructed and the cops went in, they gave the permission for them to go in. And I'm sure they had a search warrant because remember, they were tipped that something illegal was going on. So I'm sure they came with a search warrant. But when they found what appeared to be weed openly on the bed and they seized it and took it in, this is why the cops told Jaguar and TJ that they're seizing it because it was openly on the bed. They didn't go looking for it. And yes, I do believe your girl Jaguar is in a world of trouble. 
because she's out on bail. She still got her court hearing for sentencing next month. So she's not supposed to do anything illegal. And in your privacy of your own home in Texas, it's illegal to possess any drugs. Cannabis is considered a drug. So I'm afraid the girl Jaguar is in a world of trouble. Whoever set her up really did a number on her. Hopefully, when she said it's tobacco, hopefully it is tobacco. So cannabis in the state of Texas is illegal for recreational use. Possession of up to two ounces is a class B misdemeanor, punishable by up to 180 days in prison and a fine of up to $2,000. Now, several of the state's major municipalities have enacted reforms to apply lesser penalties or limited enforcement. I believe Jaguar said to the police officers it was tobacco with THC oil, the marijuana oil. And this is what Google says about THC products in the state of Texas. Anyone other than a registered participant in Texas Compassionate Use Program is not permitted to possess any amount of cannabis or THC products. This means that if you are caught with marijuana in Texas or THC products, you are likely going to be arrested. So the reason why TJ and Jaguar were not arrested is because the cops still have to check it out to see if it's tobacco or marijuana. If it's marijuana, I won't be surprised if they come right back to the house and place both of them on their rest. But TJ did say she was registered to carry THC products. I don't know about Jaguar. It's against the law. Paraphernalia against the law. Especially if there's leafy green substance. Especially if there's a leafy green substance in it. Okay, on period. Guys, notice how the police officers took all of her shit. <laughs> is we can give you the train back but we gotta take this shit whatever this leafy green substance is we took a peek at the tray last night on the receipt book and I, I ain't never seen no weed that looked like that I said I'm telling you that's the fat and no weed fat and no weed I ain't never seen no weed that looked like that so guys there you have it that's the breakdown of if Kingpin and Sean Levy Bay is going to have any backlash against them concerning this reporting, this false reporting, because we don't know who did it. It could have been anyone. It could have been them. We don't know. We're not accusing them. We're just saying, or I'm just saying, whoever called is in a world of trouble because it was false reporting. Now, he did say he called Crime Stoppers, and it's nothing wrong in calling Crime Stoppers, but remember, Crime Stoppers is connected to the police. Crime Stoppers gather information from the community if you call them and report a crime, and then they transmit it to the police. They let the police know what's happening, then the police is dispatched. So they're working hand in hand. You don't have to dial 911 if it's not an emergency, but you can dial Crime Stoppers if it's something in your neighborhood that's going on that's illegal. You dial Crime Stoppers, they make sure that your information is not out there. You are anonymous, no retaliation to you, but the police will respond. So I hope and pray that none of these people are involved and it was just someone else because it's going to be rippling. It's going to be a rippling effect on these internet streets. YouTubers, drop your comments. I'm over and out. I'm exhausted from this video. It's very disheartening that this beef can come this far. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up bell before you leave the page and subscribe if you have not done so as yet. I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you for watching.